Welcome to this video on question number 4 of specimen paper paper 4 there is no variant uh, of 2015 question number 4 okay let's start we are given a cone the diagram shows a plastic cup in the shape of a cone with the end removed so this will be our cup it is a shape of a cone but a cone with no end okay with the end removed so this is our cup the vertical height of the cone in the diagram is 20 cm. The height of the cup is 8 cm. The base of the cup has a radius of 2.7 cm. Part A show that the radius R of the circular top is 4.5 cm. Okay. So for part A, uh, the concept we'll use here is from the similar triangles. I think you have learned, you know, you compare the similar triangles and uh, this height will be uh, 12. Yes, because 8 plus 12 should be equal to the total height. So let's start. Uh, okay, we have to find the radius. So when my, so I will compare the height and radius. So when my height was 12, the radius was 2.7 yeah when my height was 12 from of the cone the radius you know opened by 2.7 centimeter right from 0 and then when my height increased from to up to 20 that's that's what I'm looking for how much the radius will open for the cone okay from here to here it opened 2.7 from here to here how much will open so the proportion will be the same okay so I will just uh, use the cross multiplication and I will have um, 12x is equals to 2.7 times 20 and then my final step will be x is equals to 2.7 times 20 over 12 which is equals to 4.5 centimeter okay let's go to part 2 calculate the volume of the water in the cup when it is full and they have given the formula of the volume thank you very much so they want the formula uh, sorry they want the volume of this part okay and this is in a shape of a cone but it is not a cone a cone has a pointing end so we will not just take uh, assume and this is a cone and use the formula of the cone no what we because it is not a cone so what we will do we, will, we have a we have this big cone and out of this big cone if i deduct this small cone what i will have as a remaining is this volume okay so the volume of this total shape minus the volume of the one i do not want so i will deduct the volume of do not want so i will have this volume okay so it will be the big cone minus the small cone okay so the big cone's value the big uh, cones volume will be equals to 1 over 3 pi r for the big one it was 4.5 squared and height was 20 minus the small volumes cone okay minus uh, it will be this value minus this value of the small so pi and the radius was 2.7 and times 12 so if you calculate this minus this you will uh, end up getting 3 3 2.5 something two three significant figures it will be 3 3 3 okay now let me go to part b1 show that the slant height s of the cup is 8.2 centimeter uh, whenever we have a slant s question you know I, I, I have solved this previously also is our the way we have to solve is using the Pythagoras theorem okay so let me just you know continue with the drawing and you can see if I you know just make a from here to here and then this is my yeah this is my triangle the right angle triangle I will show it again this is my right angle triangle this is my s this length from here till here is 2.7 and this whole length is 4.5 yeah so this whole length is 4.5 out of the 4.5 I do not want the 2.7 I do not want this area the x the extra area I don't want I don't want that right so out of the 2.7 sorry out of the whole 4.5 I do not want the 2.7 
so I will have this as a remaining so I will have a calculation for the extra top which will be 4.5 minus 2.7 which is 1.8 so I, now I know my top is 1.8 and uh, the uh, yeah this is what I'm looking for this is 1.8 this height is given as 8 so using the Pythagoras theorem I know that this is my hypotenuse is the longest side and the formula for hypotenuse is equals to hypotenuse is equals to you know the square root of the two sides square a square plus o square any side a you can just name it anyway so it will be for me it will be the slanting height is equals to the two sides which is 8 square plus 1.8 squared which is equals to 8.2 Finally, I have uh, B's part 2. Calculate the surface area of the outside of the cup and they have already given us the formula but it is for 5 marks which means it's just not using the formula. Okay? So one thing to notice here uh, is that they, they, uh, they want us to find the curved surface area of the cup. Cup is not exactly a cone. The formula is for the cone. So again, you know what we did in part A, I think, uh, that we have to calculate the curved surface area of the whole cone minus this small cone we will be we will have the remaining area which we are looking for which is this gray area okay so the curved surface area of the big the whole cone is given by the formula pi r l pi times r r is my uh, 4.5 my whole length was 20 20.5 is it 20.5 no it's 20 oh okay it's uh, it's L is the slanting height I don't have the slanting height right now right I just have the slanting height of this part which is uh, 8.2 Two, which we just calculated so I just want the whole I will use the same um, the same concept which I just did in part a that you know I have the slanting height and the complete height if my slanting height was 8.2 the complete uh, of uh, against the height 8 but when I have the complete height 20 what will be my slanting height okay so it will be x is equals to 8.2 times 20 over 8 which is equals to 20.5 5 okay that's how I will get this 20.5 the slanting height of the whole cone minus pi times minus the the small so the small uh, uh, the small cone pi times r r is my 2.7 this time and the slanting height this time is the whole slanting height was um, 20.5 minus the smaller one which because we want this one this is our small cone I want this one this whole is 20.5 minus this 8.2 I will have 20.5 minus this 8.2 I will have 12.3 okay so 12.3 here and when you will do this in your calculator you will have 185.47 two three significant figures it will be one eight five thanks for watching